thought about that on some journeys, our ferries are full with cars, thousands of meters of cars. And on some journeys, we're empty, mm -hmm. and yet the hull still remains submerged. How does that work? I suppose there's some explanation. Yes, there is. Hi, Lily. Hi. Have you heard about ballast water? Uh, no. What's that? And how does that work? Ballast is what is uh, brought on the ship in order to increase the draft or uh, regulate the trim or stability. And it's also used to reduce the bottom slam, you know, the impact from the waves. Well, oh, that ballast, well, yes, I know that. But what, what's water ballast? Yes, but before, uh, when the ships sailed without cargo, ballast was used in, in form of uh, like solid ballast, like rocks or sand and such. But today we used water ballast. Water is much easier to pump in and out. Here's Sigurd. Here we have a ship with a lot of trucks on board. And when we remove the trucks, the ship floats up and then we add ballast water. And you see, now it submerges again. So, in conclusion, ballast water is used to keep the hull submerged when we haven't got that much cargo. So, when we need it, we pump water in, and when we don't, we pump it out again. So you see, it's actually quite simple. But you know, Sigurd, you cannot just pump in and out water as you like. You need to have a ballast water management plan and you need to keep, keep track of your ballast water exchange rate. And if you would, for instance, be in the Caribbean and take in water and then go to Europe, you, you need to make sure that you don't bring a lot of invasive species destroying the ecosystem. That's why we... We hope you've enjoyed this episode and we're looking forward to your comments. And don't forget to subscribe. We